Happy birthday, my husband. <laughs> Happy birthday. I am so excited. My beautiful wives and uh, princesses. So today is my birthday. Yes, eh? daddy. Now I want to ask a question. Am I too old to even remember the day of my birth? <laughs> daddy, you're 60 years old. Yes. And at this age, you don't expect your brain to remember everything. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Plus, you have the kingdom to worry about. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you are all right. But today is not for that. Today is a special day to a special man in my life. No, in my life! life. <laughs> well, my darling husband, why don't you get up? Freshen up mm -hmm. because it is a memorable day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Then what am I waiting for? I am strong. Yeah. Come on, let me get up. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. oh, I am so excited. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mm. You are welcome. Thank you, Daddy. My God. You are welcome. <laughs> My God, uh, this is good. Mm. Beautiful wife. Happy birthday once no again idea. to my special man. No welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I called you all. Because I have an announcement to make. Yesterday was my 60th birthday. Implication is that I am no longer getting younger. Consequently, I, I want to have another wife who will take care of me at this last stage. Dad, mm -hmm. what for? Why another wife? Oh. You will. Did I hear you right? Another wife? So I am no longer good enough for you? No, wait. Hey, people, speak for yourself. Whoever that is, let her know that she will pass through me to get into your bedroom. Let's go. So, Eve, this is the reason you have refused to review the law? Huh? All along, you know the intention of getting another wife who will give you a successor. I am disappointed, Igwe. Trust in God. Put your hope in Him, and He will see you through. It's okay. No, the king cannot just wake up one morning and impose a woman on us. It's not possible. I cannot let it happen. No! What are you going to do, Mom? 
What am I going to do? Yes, Lord. You think this is all about me? No. It is about you too. What if the woman eventually gives birth to a male child? That means your stay in this palace becomes inconsequential. So the question should have been, what are you going to do about it if it happens? Mom, what do we do? You have the final say. I saw this coming, which is why I have been pushing for a change. God. But, Mom, you don't need change to take in and give Daddy a male child. Mm. Mm. Taking in for the king without reviewing the law of the land would be useless. Since my first child is not a male child, Giving birth to a male child now is immaterial because only the first male seed of a woman can succeed your father. That is preposterous. Hmm. Hmm. What? You are speaking grammar. Yes. The reality we can face now is to do something and very quickly. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my princess. What is it? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. A young man by name Charles is here to see Princess Rebecca. <sighs> Where is he? At the waiting room. Okay. Take him to the visitor's sitting room. Serve him drinks and tell him I'll be with him soon, okay? Yes, my princess. My king, I hope all is well. I had to buy call to meet now with my staff when I got your message. Chief Fossi, you are the traditional Prime Minister of Amalfo Kingdom. Yes. Is it wrong to have a third wife? Um, my king, traditionally I would say no. I mean, the king is entitled to marry as many wives as his strength and resources can carry. Then why is it that my wives and children are seeing it as a sacrifice? Ah, my king, you're supposed to know that the people you are talking about are women. Yes, they are jealous and threatened. Mm. They thought of playing a second fiddle to the woman you tend to marry. He's hunting them. It is not easy. But that is not true. Because everything done in this palace is done in a chronological order. Nobody takes another one's position. Your Majesty, you are the king. Do whatever pleases you. If having another wife will gladden your heart, I'm with you all the way. Yes. You are the ego of this great kingdom. Thank you very much. Thank you for the advice. I need to run along now. I want to go to the office. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. <coughs> Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. 
up to you two? Well, I... I am an investment banker. I had a branch of uh, Dominion Bank PLC. Oh. You have built quite a reputation for yourself. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. I am very, very honored. So, tell me about your genealogy. Uh, Is it Uju? Uh, my queen. A young man was here today to see the queen mother. So? He came to ask for Rebecca's hand in marriage. Oh, oh. Good riddance. It's too bad, bad rubbish. <laughs> Your majesty, it's not a laughing matter. The queen mother was beginning to like him until she asked him of his genealogy. <laughs> You may go. Thank you, my son. Mom, what does she mean by genealogy? It simply means that Margaret is looking for a man whose patrilineal and matrilineal parents are linked to Amoku kingdom up to the fourth generation to marry her daughter. If they like, they didn't trace his genealogy to King Solomon. It doesn't consign us. Really? Yes, mother. It will concern you when she succeeds. And your father wills everything to Rebecca and the total stranger. No way. It's not going to be possible. I, I, I cannot leave Charles. I cannot. I love him. I can't. You are obviously blinded by lust, Rebecca. You are! We are on the verge of losing everything. And here you are, talking about love. What nonsense love? Your father is about to take another wife. Henrietta and her children are planning days. Your question should be, where do we belong in this grand scheme of things? Where do we belong? You now want me to sacrifice my love and happiness? No way. Rebecca, I am not going to do it. Rebecca! Rebecca! Come back here! Come back here! Oh. You look troubled, my king. What is eating you up? Chief Jose, how can I be known? I can't remember the last time I felt like a man. A real man. But my king, the queens are there for you. Forgive me. Your last statement was more or less paradoxical. Chief Desir, I guess the rich also cried. Actually. My wives have abdicated their conjugal responsibilities. The cupidity in my wives is unimaginable. Lost in afterward. Chasing shadows at my detriment. They no longer grace my bed. That is serious. Please. I need your assistance. Whatever it may be, my king. Count on me. The moon never visits the sun. Whenever that happens, there's bound to be an eclipse. Whatever brought my queen 
to my house must be very serious. What is it? You are right about the eclipse. Amoku Kingdom is about to be eclipsed into darkness. The one that will haunt us for the rest of our lives. If something cogent is not done to quell the rising tide. Mm. You are speaking in parables, my queen. What is the problem? <clears throat> you are the traditional prime minister. Yes. I want you to reveal the law of the land. Then revealing the law of the land. The law has not offended anyone. It has. It has offended me and my children. And we can no longer tolerate such crude tradition. Oh no, I want you to help me. Your Majesty, the power to instigate such a change rests on your husband. The king, talk to him. The king has lost touch with reality. He is adamant and will not be swayed. You know I'm the only aware of the kingdom. I cannot go beyond that. I'm really very sorry I cannot do anything. If the king refuses to be swayed, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm really very sorry. I cannot do anything. Thanks for the drink. I know I offended you in the past. I have come to make up. Is that supposed to make me happy? No, I asked you. Is that supposed to make me happy? You came to make up. After so many years. After helping you to gain your way into the king's heart. What do I get in return? What? I would feel the same way if I were in your shoes. I, I'm sorry. Let us forget the past and start afresh. Please, I beg you. I was told by my handlers that you're well grounded here. Yes. I want a man, a young man whose maternal and paternal families are of Amoku extract. It will run through four generations. This time around, I will handsomely reward you. <laughs> and you will not betray me? Not anymore. 
I will be needing more than money this time. What do you need? The royal parcel of land at the market junction. Adora. Ah. The king has his eyes on that parcel of land. Please, just ask for any other thing. It is either the land or no deal. Okay. I will try and secure it. But please, let it be between us. Okay? Of course. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you soon. And you will. I'll take my leave. Let's go. I cannot believe that mom will even contemplate asking me to leave Charles. It sickens me that mom could condescend that low. What kind of a mother does that? Oh, I... do I do? Advise me because I know mom very well. She will not stop breathing down my neck. I know her. What do you think I should do? Sis, I think at this point we need to be very, very careful in whatever decisions we take. I know, I know. Because my Bible tells me in the book of... Uh, uh, please, 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 please. What is that? Must you rope the Bible into everything we say? I just ask for a simple advice. Simple advice and you're dragging the Bible into it. What is wrong with you? Go. Please. I, I, I don't want to hear. I'll Please. Tell you. Problem with this palace, and I feel what they have shown to us is just in his pocket. My fear is that the queens may eventually drag with the gas into it. Yes, yes. a choice between the devil and the red sea. And when that eventually happens. I pray we're on the same side because I don't want to lose our friendship. I also pray it doesn't get to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, just walk back to your duty post. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, Chisaba. He does not deserve what he's going through. He is such a generous man. Yes. He took me in when I was a teenager. When I lost my parents, he sent me to secondary school. And after that, he sent me to Ketron School. He saw me through. He paid for everything from beginning to the end. I wonder where I would have been, what my life would have become without the king. I am nothing without the king. I practically owe him everything. That's why it breaks my heart each time I see him like this. It hurts me. I think he's under intense pressure from the both wives. The pressure that seeks to end his life. Don't say that, Chisaba. Nothing will happen to the king because it's the reason we are here. All we need to do is to pray and care for him and everything will be fine. Yes. You're right. We will do just that. Yes, we have to. And Chizuba, 
Remember I told you I'll be going to see my mother first thing in the morning. Okay, fine. But please, don't take time. I don't want them to notice your absence here, please. Okay, I won't take time, I promise. Your Majesty. Yes. These documents contains the financial statements of Aku Global Enterprises. For the past six months, all our dealings and transactions are contained in it. Your Majesty, this is the document as you requested. I will understand this at my leisure time. Fred! Fred! Your Highness. You keep it in my story. For Your Highness. So I thank you very much. Thank you so much. You have done a very good one. My king, he sent for me. Prepare breakfast and make sure you accommodate Mr. Jonathan. Okay, my king. So, you are welcome to us now. Take your hand. Like I said, I have waited. Then add pineapple juice to it. What about you, Princess Thelma? Well, uh, we have our macaroni with grilled chicken and a juice extract from fresh apple. No mistakes, please. Okay, my princess. Have you seen the meat that is Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I want for myself. Uh, no, I want this too. Want... And whose other is that? Princess Lydia and Princess Thelma, and they will have it almost immediately. Why? Why would they order something different? That is not customary in this palace. They have always eaten together. So why they change? Anyways, that order will have to wait. As you can see, I am making food for the king and the guest. Please just try and make it quick. Okay, drop it there. I will try. Lydia and Tema, come and join us. No thanks. Why? We will eat when we are hungry. Mm -hmm. Your Highness. Yes. Are they okay? Probably they are not ready to eat now. Receiving 
between our others. You ignored it, Sophia. Okay? One off, yeah. <laughs> no, my princess. I did not ignore you both. But the king's order came first and Shut I up! By the king's order, you mean Rebecca and Choma? So they now come first in this palace, right? It's not like that, my princess. I was only trying to make the food. <laughs> Shut up! By the time we are through with you, you will know how it is. You, you, you have to. You have to. Sorry for interruption, Your Highness. Yes, go on. It's Chizoba. Chizoba. <coughs> yes, what happened to Chizoba? I heard her crying from Queen Reta's quarters. I don't know what she did to Princess Lydia and Thelma. Justification to say that. You don't have it. Listen to me. If you ever touch her again, you will get my wrath. Nonsense. <laughs> Help her bring her to my quarters. Yes, my king. Rubbish! <laughs> Where have I gone wrong? Huh? Is it wrong to give birth to, to girls? Look at what they did to her. Your Highness, take it easy. They are children. Don't allow this to get to you. You call those old fools children? They are graduates who refuse to take up any job in my company. All they do is wake up, eat and have strength to cause havoc. In my palace. Your Highness, please take it easy. Don't allow this to get you. She's over. It's okay. Stop crying, okay? She's over. You take a day off and take care of yourself. Thank you, my king. Fomenka, is it true that laws are made for the people and not people for the law? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. Okay. Is it also true that laws are made to do dress? If it is no longer in the best interest of the people, it was designed to govern? That's also true, Your Majesty. If all this is true, then why haven't we changed our laws to befit our 21st century realities? Honestly, uh, Your Majesty, I've asked myself the same question over and over again. It then put both of us on the same pedestal. Yes, Your Majesty, but only the king has the powers. What is the job of the College of Elders? Your Majesty, you need the College of Elders to mount pressure on the King? Mm -hmm. Then we have to buy them over. Do you think they can be bought over? Your Majesty, every man has a price. Egonobala, now look all warm. 
money a man is inseparable. Then do whatever you have to do. And I will see to it and get you all the funding. It's okay. I have to be on my way now. You? How long have you known Major? Four years now, Your Highness. I was actually a penultimate uh, master's degree student. And she was running off her bachelor's degree when we met. Do you love her? With my whole heart, Your Highness. I do. I will have to talk with my wife and uh, get back to you through Rebecca. All right. Thank you very much, Your Highness. You're welcome. I promise I won't let you nor Her Majesty down. I promise you. I'll be glad to hear that. My daughter told me what you did today. You wanted them to starve while you fed Margaret's children. How much did she pay you? Your Majesty, nobody paid me anything. Really? So you did it out of your own volition? Out of spite, right? No, Your Majesty. Listen, let this be the very last time my children will play second fiddle in this palace. Any other time it happens, I will personally disgrace you out of this palace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I'm interested. Now get lost. Come on, fly away. Treat your love and shit as now. First, speak for nothing. The young man, is he the one you intend to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, daddy. Are you very sure? Yes, I, I know why I asked. Because marriage is a lifetime decision. I know. Good. And I love him. I love him so much. I love Charles so much, Daddy. Mm. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean you approve of us? As long as he is the right man for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank That's you. Right, Thank you so That's much, okay. Daddy. That's Thank right. you. Like that. <laughs> best daddy in the whole world. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> God. How come you did not mention him to me? My husband. I, I didn't know that the boy is serious. That boy is serious. I spoke with Rebecca and she seemed to be excited. This is the kind of news I want to always hear in this kingdom that will make me happy. Huh? My daughter is getting married and there is no other way to explain this. You don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> Igwe, Igwe, this is not right at all. It's not right. My children are being stabbed here by that idiot in the kitchen. And you're not saying or doing anything about it. I expected you to punish her. But rather, you gave her a day off. Which shows you're, you're, you're supporting her. Herietta, are you insane? My goodness. Herietta, are you mad? In our What has gone wrong with you? How dare you bash into my my throne room to blab? Who are you? Listen. When you do this next time, I will tell you the kind of king I am made of. And why people call me the lion of Amauku Kingdom. Rubbish! You and your evil daughters have no right to touch Jizoba because he didn't brought her here to slay for you. Ibu, 
fish. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. Get out of here. You heard it? Mm. Okay. No problem. children are evil. You are wicked and you deserve to die. Listen, Chizoba was employed to this palace to see to my needs and those of my children. If she is tired of working here, let her quit. And let this be the very last time you will insult me here. Fool. How dare you? How dare you stand before me to disrespect me? Are you drunk? Mm. I was here long before you came. You ought to know who your mother is. Stupid. Look no. at you. Mom. Mom. Are you going to swallow this? Will you shut up? You shut up. Margaret, you want to play dead? Let's go there. Yeah. Yes. What? Yes. What? 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 sensitive enough to understand what is going on here. But I was wrong after all. Mommy, what did I do? You brought in that boy to see your father. You went as far as telling your father that you love him. Gosh, because it's the truth. And that is happy for me. Of course he is. He is happy that you are about to be disposed of your inheritance out of sheer stupidity. Everything I am working on right now is for your own good. But if you are bent on marrying that boy, then you will cease to be my daughter. Try me. Try me. I am very sorry for what you went through yesterday. However, I would advise you don't take to heart the ill treatment meted out to you. Be like a fruitful tree. That when people throw stones at you, you throw back fruit at them. Discharge your duty diligently, and our good Lord, who sees beyond darkness, will reward you. Hmm? Thank you so much, my person. Your words and the greetings. I truly appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay? You can go back to your duty. Once more, I'm sorry. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes. Tell me. I know things have not been really going fine in the palace. But I want to plead. That will take things easy with our domestic stance. Okay, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. They are human beings like us. Please. Grace, are you talking to me? Yes, of course. Are you serious? How? God. If not that I'm in a good mood today, I could slap you right away. Take a Look at me, as in, look at me very well. Do I look like one of your idiotic church members? <laughs> Stay away from me. I won't warn you again. Stay away from me.
What do you really want with my daughter? Good day, Your Majesty. Is this love? Or you are lusting after her father's wealth? Your Majesty, I love her so much. From the depth of my heart, I do. I don't care. You are no good match for my daughter. And I want you to stay clear. Your Majesty, but, but the king... It doesn't matter. It does not matter what the king said to you. I have spoken. Fred! Fred! Show this young man out of here. And make sure he doesn't step his feet into this palace again. Out! My queen, I came to let you know that after a rigorous search, I have finally found a man as you requested. Wow, that's great news. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's so wonderful. You're welcome. Oh. And then, my queen, huh? there is um, something I want you to know about him. It doesn't matter. Really? It does not matter at all. Good. <laughs> Lydia! <laughs> Lydia! Yes, mommy. You know Adora, don't you? Yes, I do. Good day, ma. How are you? Fine, ma. Good. She has found you a man. Yes. <gasps> That's so sweet of you. Where is he? He's right here in the kingdom. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. You go and change. She will take you to him. Okay. Right away, Mom. Thank you so much. You're, You're really a good friend. We are here. Yeah. Hey, my princess. Hey. Is this his house? Exactly. Yes. Oh, get it, oh, get it. So, where is he? Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, get it. Oh, get it. Uh -uh. Which voice am I hearing? Oh, get it. How are you? Sister Dora. Eh? You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Eh, my princess, this is the man I told you about. Ogene. Mokike. Is this an insult or what? Eh? What sort of rubbish is this? Yeah. My princess. No. Not like that. This is not an insult though. Don't underrate him. This is a real man, ain't any panya? A real man. Seriously? Yes. You want me to marry this thing? You have to be joking. This has got to be a nightmare. I, my princess. Let's get out of here. My princess. Will you shut up or I make you disappear, you fool? Rubbish. My princess. My princess. My princess.
Is everything all right? How can everything be all right, Mom? I've never been this humiliated all my life. What happened? That woman took me to go meet a deformed man whose body stench can scare away bats. So? So? Oh, I see. So you know about this? Yes. And it doesn't matter. Lydia, the most important thing is that his credentials are perfect. His physical appearance does not matter. It is immaterial. You are so unbelievable, Mom. You will stop at nothing to get what you want, irrespective of whose heart is God. You know what? I will just go to my room and take a nap. I will wake up in three hours from this nightmare because this is far from reality. Excuse me. Omenka, you have to understand that certain things are not meant to change. That is not true, Chief Paulson. Everything is subject to change. We change our looks. We change our clothes when they are dirty and worn out. And who is talking about clothes here? You need to grow. Huh? We are talking about the oral laws handed down to us by our ancestors. The modification you seek is a Herculean task, and you know it. Uh, Person, I still disagree with you. These laws we are talking about have become obsolete and no longer sync with modern day's reality. I, Can't you see that? I can see, Omeka, that you have lost your mind. Yes. Look, don't bring the wrath of the gods upon us in this land. Why not allow the gods to fight for themselves? Elders, this argument is not necessary at all. Only the gods have the power to change the course of things. Oh. And until the gods give us that mandate, status quo must be maintained. Yes, it must be maintained. I do not wish to see you dive into a matter when we have very serious matter to discuss. Please. How did it go? Your Majesty is not so good. The king is adamant about it. He considers it as issue, not what he is waiting on. So, what do we do next? Um, there is only one man in the king listening to me. Okay. If we will be able to get him on our side, he will implant the king. Who is he? The chief priest, your majesty. Are you sure this is going to work? Yes, your majesty. It will work. I wonder what she was discussing with Chief Omenka. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, I don't think it is wise to concern yourself with that. Eh? It yes. is wise. It is my business. It is my business what she discusses with anyone in this palace. A woman that goes around conniving with elders is of no good. But I tell you something. Whatever it is, I will match her toe to toe. She spoke to you, right? Yes, uh, she, she did. What about? Your Majesty, with due respect, I don't think I can disclose what we discussed. Whatever it is that we have discussed is entirely... In what? No! Go ahead and tell her everything. So, this is what you do, Chief Porter. After talking to you in confidence, you will come here to reveal it to her? Huh? I beg your pardon, Margaret. Don't beg my pardon because you won't get it. What is your problem, Margaret? 
You want to know? You are my problem. Henrietta, you are my problem. Really? Why can't you stop nosing about in this palace? What is it with you? So what are you going to do about it? I will so deal with you. <laughs> I will so deal with you, Henrietta. Deal with who? Me? Stop this. How do you intend to do that? Mm -hmm. You think it is by size? Hey. Yes. Okay, not by size. What can you do? No, no, My friend, no, 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 don't stop, stop, try it. Stop this. Henrietta, don't try it. Henrietta, <laughs> I will give it to you in this palace. There's nothing you can do. You are taking more than you can do. You give it this palace. You cannot do anything. Henrietta, you cannot do anything. Hey. Is it because I'm giving hey. advice? But, What's that nonsense? Try it. Where can we stand up? No, you are not. You just try it. You will see anywhere to hide yourself. Is it you, you raise your hand. You, 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 you see what I'm doing to you. Hey. 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 Hey.
<laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. So, what is your name? Um, Ebere Okonkwo. Ebere Okonkwo. Yes, what a Highness. beautiful name. Uh, and your father? Uh, who is he? Late Okonkwo Okonkwo, Your Highness. Late Okonkwo Okonkwo. I know that man. <laughs> I know that man. Ah. ah. And he gave birth to a beautiful girl like you? Yes, Your Highness. That is nice. That is <laughs> nice. That is nice. I love beautiful girls. Hmm? That is nice. Uh, does it? You will. I never knew you know what I like. <laughs> I'm glad you like her. Ah, yes, I like her. She's beautiful. I like her. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Yeah, you're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. Both of you have seen what is going on. It is a battle of interests. I don't know what Margaret is up to. But I know she is up to something sinister. So please, Lydia, listen to me and do as I have told you, please. No, Mom. I can't accept that him in as my husband. No! <laughs> What's that, Elma? Oops, sorry, Mom. <laughs> I have friends amongst the high and mighty. I attend high-class social events. You don't expect me to present Ogene as my husband. No! I can't swallow such a humble pie. Lydia, Ogene is just a means to an end. Immediately we get what we want, we toss him away. Okay? Oh, Lydia, I think mommy is right. You should consider it. Will you shut up your mouth? Are you not a woman? Why don't you go over with him? But you know very well that it is wrong for me to get married before you. If not, uh uh. What is that? Shut up. Lydia, please. Listen, you don't need to attend any event with him. I can actually get you a handsome looking guy that you will be taking to occasions. As a matter of fact, if you want to go on vacation with him abroad, it can be arranged. Please. Uh, uh. Greetings, Your Majesty. The King Kazara has someone into the throne room. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The palace is filled with saboteurs. The likes of Che Prosen should not be trusted. But mom, Che Prosen is regarded as a man of integrity. Do you think he could do a thing like that? And what are you trying to say? That mom is lying? No, no, mom. ask her. Anyways, I overheard them discussing me. I will so deal with them, especially that refrain called Henrietta. She does not know who she is married with. That one. <laughs> Your Majesty. What is it? The king wants to have a word with you. Another problem. That I wouldn't know, my princess. He's waiting for you in the throne room. Okay. You know Chief Paulson, you don't even know the man. Keep quiet. Thank you all for coming. I called for this meeting because I want to introduce someone special to you all. She is. Her name is Ebele Okongo. The 
native of this camp. She is the young lady that I have decided to have as my third wife. Eh? Igwe, is this a joke? I don't have water in my mouth. Igwe, that is a lie. It is not possible. She? No. No! I can't take this! What is it? Yeah. Leave. Leave. My friend, get up from that place! Get up! What? what? No, no, no. See, see! Go ah. and tell that you Juju Kalaba that what he did for you did not work. Get up. My friend, get up from that place! You think I'm playing with you? Herita. You think I'm joking? Another woman for to spite me, of course, to spite me for not giving birth to a male child. <sighs> but one thing is certain no woman is coming in here to take my place. I am the first wife of this family. So, if the king likes, he can go and marry all the women in this kingdom and beyond. That male child will not come into this palace unless things change to benefit me. I agree with you. I support you. From today, I will do everything in my power to make sure we still remain at the top. That's my daughter. That is the spirit. Good. We must remain on top. I, I have suffered. Imagine a small girl having the boldness to walk into this palace to compete with me. What impetus. What did you say her name is? What a better like that though. Wait. Is her son name Okonkwo? Yes. Is she fair, average, and full bodied? Yes. That's her. I know her. You know her? Yes, mother. She was my classmate in secondary school. Hi. Can you imagine? Her? What an insult. Thelma's classmates coming to drag your husband with you? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. So she wants to become my stepmother? No, that's not possible. Thelma. Do you know where she lives? Yes, I do. You will take me there. No problem. It is a game of thrones Between the queens and the princesses The end justifies the means So I'll cherish that old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to that old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. So I will cherish that old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Have you asked yourself where you will spend your eternity? 
Have you asked yourself, where will my soul go to when I die? Is that not your Slow down. Is that not your mom? That is her mom. Hi. Hey. Someone whose house is on fire is here chasing rabbits. What a shame. Move, Roland. The book of Mark chapter 8 verse 36 says, What shall it profit a man if he gains the old world and loses soul? Hebrew chapter 7 verse 27 says, And so it is appointed unto a man once to die, and after this comes judgment. Have you thought about where you will spend your eternity? All our struggles, backbiting, Deceit. Everything we do just to put money in our pockets more than the other person. All is vanity. Because true wealth comes from the Lord. No wonder St. Paul asked in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Who makes you different from the others? What do you have that you did not receive? Is it for the past one week, I have been so disturbed by the complaints of the College of Elders asking that we do away with our cultural heritage. You are the custodian of this heritage. Is it right that one of my daughters is enthroned after me? It is not right, Your Highness. It will be a total discretion of our practice. Any attempt to change it will amount to grave consequences. How grave? Very grave consequences, Your Highness. And what do I do? I do not have a son. And I do not have time. Is it that the gods want to take away the kingship from my lineage? I do not know, Your Highness. Then go and ask. I will consult the spirit of our ancestors. I will get back to you as soon as they speak. You are the mother to that little slot ever, right? My queen, please, what has she done? She is treading on a dangerous ground. Tell her not to come anywhere close to the royal household. Warn her. Let her know that I am not one of her classmates who she can drag their boyfriends with. Please, my queen, forgive her. I didn't know. Please, just warn her. She will not like the outcome. Please, my queen, forgive her. Please. Pastor, the situation in the palace is getting out of hand. There is bickering and rancor everywhere. There is hardly a day without pandemonium. And I am tired of it all. You see, Sister Choma. 
The devil and his agent has indeed paid the royal household a visit. But not to worry. We serve a God who have answers to every life questions. The Bible makes us understand in the book of Mark 9.23, it said all things are possible to them that believe. Yes, sir. So keep your faith in thoughts. That devil will be checked out. With God, all things are possible. You see, Sister Chairman, some mountains cannot move except by prayer and fasting. Matthew 17, 21 told us that. Now, we are going to hold God by his word and engage in prayer and fasting. And every mountain, perpetual hills, we bow. Amen. And God will take the glory. Amen. And the royal household will be delivered. Amen. We will win the battle. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I bless your name because you are God. We give you glory because we know answers are sure. You are a prayer answering God, and we commit the royal household into your hands. Everything in your hands survive. Therefore, every devil in this womb, I command them now to bow. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. My queen, are you serious? Yes, sir. Literally a berry of yesterday. <laughs> she is the reigning terror in my home now. So what does her mother say? What did she say? The old hag was feigning ignorance, saying that it wasn't a well thought out plan. My queen. <laughs> My queen, we have to hurry up to our smart den. Yes. Have you been able to convince Lydia? Uh, I'm trying my best. My queen. My queen, if what you just said is true, then we have a serious problem at heart. You have to pressurize her, yes. Where are you coming from? Mama, good evening. My brother, is everything all right? You were here when I came in the morning to pick her. Iche, huh? please, I don't want any trouble. How do you mean? The queen left here a while ago, and she was threatening fire and brimstone if a baby does not leave her husband alone. Eh? Which of the queens? The king's second wife. Iche, please, I'm no longer comfortable with this arrangement. I am not just cut out for it at all. Oh, my brother, calm down. I will take care of that issue. She cannot do more than she has just done. Nothing will happen to you and your daughter. The king has big interest in her brother and will do everything to make sure she's protected. Oh, yeah, Kila, what can I say? You realize yourself. I come near. Yeah? Oh, man. No problem. Nothing will happen to you. I'm around. I come there. Oh? Okay, hey. Go well, huh? Oh, um. Ah, you mean they did all that to her? Yes. It could have been worse than that, if not that we were there to intervene. What, 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 what has come over them? I don't know. What is this feud all about? Hmm. Eh? The king has the right to marry as many wives as he deems fit. Yes! Hmm. Woman, woman. Where is she now? I've taken her to her mother's house. After chopping for her, as he were demanded. Mm. Yes. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. 
The end justifies the means. Did you say Harriet had threatened my would be wife Simone? Yes, my king. Yes. Celestine. Yes, my king. Come here. Yes, my king. Fetch her letter here immediately. Yes, my king. This madness has risen to its crescendo, and I am not ready to condone it. My word is law in this kingdom, and I wouldn't want anyone to threaten it. No one. Where is she? She's not around. Herita is not around? I guess she's out of the palace, my king. Herita is not around. She is out of this palace. Herita is nowhere to be found. I have come to warn you to desist from what you are doing. You are igniting white fire that will consume you. Wise one, you speak in parables. I don't understand. You know what I am talking about. You are making a mockery of the gods. Wise one, I am not. I am only doing what needs to be done. You do not know what you are doing. This is beyond you, Chief Omenka. This loss exists long before you were born. And this loss will exist long after you must have gone. Do not bring the anger of the gods upon your household. I have warned you. Out of your mind. You have no right to do what you did. I am your husband and you are my queen. Besides, I am the king of Amoku Kingdom. You must learn how to respect. You are the one who disrespected yourself in the first place by going after your daughter's classmate. What is it? Are you not tired of women? At your age, what are you still looking for in a woman's skirt? How dare you! Ah! Okay. Ah! Igwe! Ah! Igwe! Ah! My king! My king! Ah. Hey! Ah. Help! My king, what is it? Help me! Somebody help me! My king! Yeah! What is it? I don't know! Fred! I don't know. Fred! My king. My king, what is this? My king. Hey. Come on. Hey. My king. Let me go with the doctor. Let me. Please. Please. My king. No. My king. Dr. Kelvin. Doctor.
Majesty. The doctor is here to see you. Oh, bring him in immediately. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Now is my husband. I've been able to stabilize him. He's taking a rest now. Oh, thank God. But Your Majesty, there is something very vital you need to know about the King's health. Please. Thank you, Your Majesty. What is it? Your Majesty. The king is suffering from terminal disease. And um, I'm sorry to say, he may not live longer. How long has he? I can't really say for sure. Probably a year or two, or more, or even less, depending. Depending on what? Depending on your people, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the king is on an intense pressure. And it's not good for his health. Your Majesty, what the king needs now is care. He needs someone who will take care of him. He needs everything that will make him happy. Please. Well, Dr. Kelvin, we will do our best. That will be fine, Your Majesty. Because the king needs to be alive for you. And for the family. And for the entire kingdom. Your Majesty, I will take my leave right now. Uh, but my line will be open. If anything happens, please do give me a call. I sure okay. will. No. Thank you. It's okay. Um, uh, Dr. Kelvin. Your Majesty. I want to ask you for a favor. Please go ahead, Your Majesty. Is it possible to keep what you just told us to yourself? Your Majesty, don't be bothered. Confidentiality is paramount in medical ethics. I will keep it to myself. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, Your Majesty. You too. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. You heard what the doctor said. If your father dies now without a successor, that means the kingship will leave our family. But if you marry Ogene, he will be crowned king. You will be the queen, and I, the queen mother. Please, my daughter, marry Ogene. my son. The king asked us to bring these items to you and to apologize on behalf of his wife's embarrassment to you. And he said we should tell you that your daughter is in safe hands. Thank you very much, my children. Tell the king that we are very grateful and that we appreciate his kindness. That we are no longer sad. Yes, we are not. Eh? Hey. Ma, in addition to the items, the king said I should present it to you. to worry about anything since the king has assured us of my safety but we cannot 
ignore the queen's threats. I know, Mama. I know. There was something I read in the Bible. And that is that God will prepare to be before us in the presence of our enemy. Mm. Mama, this is the opportunity we have been waiting for. If you ask me, Mama, I think we should accept the king's offer and better our lot. Yes. Yes. Mm. My princess. <laughs> hey. I'm pretty enjoy me, you like it. No, thank you. Very sweet. Though. Just enjoy it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, I know what you want. You want me to feed you. <laughs> oh. No. Please, no, just take no, some. Don't worry, you just take small. it. Come. <laughs> My princess. Okay, let me tell you something, huh? I want to thank you for coming into my life. Hmm? Okay. Don't worry. The kind of love I will show you. Eh? No man in this village can show you that kind of love. Because you are so beautiful, my princess. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you okay? I'm fine. No, yeah, yeah, I know, I know you are fine. I know you are fine. Mm. This Abasha is very sweet. Let me give you some. No, no, no. Thank mm? you. <laughs> you like it with the meat? It's Momo, you like it? Have it. Oh, no, don't worry. Take it. This is wine. No, don't worry. It's okay. good for you. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, so, huh? don't you drink water while eating? Oh, princess. <sighs> you see? This is what I'm talking about. Since you came into my life, I have not been concentrating at all. I'm always confusing. Huh? You say what? I'm always confused. I don't know why. Huh? huh? It's alright, let me... <coughs> oh! <laughs> please get and... water! It's alright, please. I'm, I'm coming back. Let me go and get the water. Okay. I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Prince, <laughs> princess. <laughs> hey. take a vacation abroad. The pressure around here is too much. Who will take over the administration of this kingdom if I leave? You worry too much, my king. Everything will be fine. All you need right now is to take a rest. That's why I suggested you should travel, take a vacation. By the time you're back, You'll be looking so good and fresh and full of ideas to tackle the affairs of the kingdom. You are right. I will have to think over it. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. You're enjoying the fruits. Yes, I am. <clears throat> Hey, Mike. You see, the better way not to plan and well work before you. You plan, you make now. Forget them. Forget them. Very, very soon. Tomorrow I go make them. Again, eh? How's that, Mike? Again, eh? It's all on a common house ceremony. I hope so I did save. Uh -uh. You don't become crime. Say we will be your friend. 
Come your house. No, no, nah, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 we go wait for you to go village, go knock again. Go, 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 go. Say also and wake and they invite you to come to my house before we come. Not be waiting, I mean, be that now. Eh? But then they try to talk, be say. At least we go inform the person. Say they come visit them. I beg I, Okay, I, what if I knock on the house? If you know the house, we go now. Uh, what is the there? Ah, I be first welcome carry picking. They say the picking that the person will go. Do, we don't do. Not I beg no bring this part away. They bring now. So uh, the, the, the the main team say we know they see you again for that our usual sports. We going to think about something happen. What thing happen? <laughs> My friends, nothing happen. No. It's just that this period I just day busy. Very very busy. You day busy. You day busy. What do you day busy they do? You want marry? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. Answer the question, okay? Mm. I don't suspect the two of them. I will not take no say I won't marry. Uh -huh. No, we go with Tom Tom. You they are surprised. No be because you <laughs> no want to make me know. Now he make you be not tell us because it is a we no go find out. No be say I they hide anything from you now. Eh? The thing be say, I want to be sure of this girl before I go tell you now, as my friends. Eh, hey, okay. Mm. So not true. Not true. Not true. So not true, you won't marry. Yes, so. <laughs> I'm not married. Who go marry? Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, who can be this uh, okay, we agree to marry you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Princess Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Which Princess Lydia will they talk? How many Princess Lydia will get to this our community? Huh? Now you go to daughter they talk now. Valeria, <laughs> Mali. <laughs> After he's a John Dee, they worry this guy for brain. Also, also, now you they cost him. Now you they cost him. When they give him your power for free, I they tell you. Stop, make you know they give him. I bet now, look at the dream way in the uh, dream now. Wait, okay, leave that matter. No be, this is no be power okay. in the drum. No be power in our elders, then drink become wise. I don't know. No you be you power in the drum. No get head. Eh. Uh, you, you see us how they look you so. With this your bad leg, now you can't start to rethink, can't think calm, say, yeah. girl like Princess Lydia, we sit down on top mountain, go marry you, when you go fit climb on top mango tree. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. And what tell you say, naked man know they put hand for pocket. Hey. Poor man know they sit down for front of seat for village meeting. Uh -huh. I bet come up from this uh -huh. thing inside where you do, because you like say you the sick. You see this one at the telephone and so. Eh? If I lie, eh? May the ghost of this our land strike me die. And again, I make a shock now. Hmm? You see the Igwe? Igwe, Lolo, all the princesses are there for that palace. If I did made this, everybody for that palace, they gather come this to my house. Come they beg me, say, make a marry Princess Lydia. Huh? Yes, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. hmm? This one don't turn serious, man. No verse. Are they okay? What did they touch me for? Wait, 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 now calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, leave me. Oh, why they slap me? Uh, I want to show now because you see, this John is like say don't pass your eyes, enter your brain. You, you don't the yarn of Patawe where? Wait, see, you did show with you, they talk. You know, say, you know, Igwe, you know what Igwe feel do? Igwe go lock you. Me, my hand, no deal. How ah, you go say the Igwe, Princess Lydia, Lolo, come to beg you to marry the princess? Which can't talk with that? <laughs> Why be saying it to I tell you? I know they believe me. Okay, no problem. Um, okay, hmm? you see this young way they are now. You don't really show, say, uh, we we'll don't get anything in common again to talk about. Uh, unless you want to stay here, me and they go. Also, my tell the truth. You say this thing where this guy talk here and true, eh? I swear, we will no get hope tomorrow. We must make a we will get hope. Uh -huh. Now you get, now you get hopeless. Eh? That's why you get soft brain where they say soft news like this go still catch you. Also, you don't come again, no. Which can I come again? Also, no, you sort me off. I better leave that matter, job. Leave that matter. In fact, eh, um, okay. Uh, I don't know what I will tell you. Just uh, go inside. My king. Yes, ma'am. I was worried when I heard you were sick. Don't worry. The king is fine. I can't help but feel my presence is the cause of it all. No, no, no. Don't say that. You are not the cause. Hmm? I'm happy you're fine, Your Majesty. That's all right. I'm happy. That's all right. Ah! 
Ah. Our would be wife is here. <laughs> Greetings, oh, my dear. Greetings. Greetings, my dear. <laughs> See, let me just tell you. You are welcome in this palace anytime, any day. Mm? <laughs> Thank you very much, my queen. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Thank you. Feel at home, eh? This is your home. Okay? Oh, thank you, Your <laughs> Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Margaret, is this really you? Oh, come on, my husband. Why are you surprised? Have you forgotten that I accommodated Henrietta when you brought her here? So, why won't I accommodate a berry? This is the woman I married. <laughs> My first love. Oh, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, You're welcome, Your Majesty. Welcome. Thank you. Your Majesty, I want to thank you again for accepting me. Hmm, it is nothing, my dear. You know you are like a daughter to me. Hmm? <laughs> Your Majesty, I want you to know that my coming here will not be to disrespect you in any way. Neither will I challenge you. The king acts that I be his wife, and it will be an act of insubordination if I refuse. I hope you understand. Your of Majesty. course I do. I do understand, my dear. That is not a problem. Oh? Thank you, Your Majesty. I can see you are so down to it. Huh? Thank you, and I believe that we are not going to have any problem no, when you're not. coming. We will not, Your Majesty. Should I trust you? You can trust me. It's all right. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will go my way now. It's all right. Okay. Take care. Eh? Okay, my Chifomenka. It is as if we are losing pace. The king is hell-bent on marrying that girl. Um, Your Majesty, I am doing my best. But the challenge I have is that some of them won't bend, especially the Ezamu who came here the other day and gave me stern warning. I need time to penetrate them. <laughs> time is a luxury I can't afford now, Chifomenka. Do something and very quickly. How will your majesty? It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any I am so excited. Same here. <laughs> Thank my you, dear. Daddy. My daughter, I am happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> that day, hmm? I will dance. I will shake my waist. I will waist. dance. Eh, I will, I will shake dance. Dance. I will shake it. I will shake it. I will shake it. I will shake it on my waist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My husband. Yes. What is going on here? Uh, what are we celebrating? My daughter is getting married. My daughter. Who? Me. My daughter. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's such a great news. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you need oh to have seen the looks on their faces. Huh? When they heard that she's about getting married. Ah! <laughs> Frustration, uh -huh. shame, uh -huh. and disappointment. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> mm. They have not seen anything yet. They will soon die when you get married. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> Mrs. Ogene, cheers. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with your head? Can you imagine? Huh? Yeah? Mom, what have I done? What have you not done, Choma? What 
was the meaning of that praise the Lord you were shouting over there? Oh, but mom, I don't see anything wrong in celebrating with my sisters. Shut up! Close your mouth! If I slap you now, eh, you will forget your name. What sister? Our enemies are gloating over us. And you were there, celebrating with them. God! Do you even know how embarrassing that thing you did was? Imagine. Eh? Whose side are you on? Are you on our side or on an enemy's side? Because I need to know. Answer her! Talk! I am on the Lord's side. God! I think this your church has eaten up your sense of reasoning. If you don't take time, Choma, if you don't take time, I will stop you from attending that church. And I will support you. No sense. <laughs> don't even say anything. Look at her face. Look at her face. And I think you should sit down here and decide where you want to belong. Because right now you're confused. And it's embarrassing. Mama, I was impressed and surprised. She was so good to me. I never expected it from her at all. Uh -huh. Mama, she even assured me that she's on my side. I would protect my interest when I am married to the royal home. So, Mama, she went as far as giving me money when I was living. Hey, boo. Hey, <laughs> she's a good woman. No? Mama, she is. She hey. is. God has finally answered our prayer. Mm. Thank ah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Eh? Eh? Mama, I know we have suffered. Eh? Mm. Especially you. Oh. You saw me through school when Papa died. Mm. I believe God wants to compensate you. Oh. I believe you, my daughter. Oh, Bini thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He has done for me. He has done for me. He has done for us. He has done for us. What nobody can do for us. He has done for us. What my brother could not do. He has done for us. Hey, Bini Gwe. The king has finally agreed to the marriage. But my greatest worry now is how can we convince him to name Ogene his successor before he passes on? My queen, that will not be a problem. I have a place I will take you to. After which, the king will be compelled to do according to your biddings. But that is not why I am here. You are yet to fulfill your part of the bargain. I am yet to get the title deed to the land you promised me. About that land, I'm so sorry. I don't understand. You see, I'll, I'll give you money in place of that piece of land. The piece of land actually belongs to the royal household and there's absolutely no way I can dispossess them of that. You should have thought about that before making the offer. Yes! With all due respect, I do not need your money. What I need is the land! I want you to think about what you stand to lose. Should you fail to do as you have promised? Is that a threat? It 
is not a threat. It is a reminder. Three days. Yes. Three days. I will be waiting. Your Majesty. <laughs> The heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. But what's in the show? Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. Auntie Adora, so when your face day like this, I hope say everything they okay. Okay then. Auntie. The queen is taking me for granted. The queen is taking me for a fool. The queen has refused to pay me for bringing you to her. Yes. For that reason. This marriage has been put on hold yeah. until she pays me what she's owing me. Hmm. Good day. I Auntie Adora. See, see, make I tell you. You see, this is your plan, and not gonna work. Oh. You don't hear me, so. Whether you like it or not, I must marry Princess Lydia, and I go become king for that palace. What is it? Uh -uh. Why don't you see myself already say I'll be king? You can't tell me. So. Better change that mouth, too. In fact, better go settle with uh, that, uh, your queen friend. Because this marriage must work. It must work. What's in? But I'll be the king already, sir. Uh -huh. Why do you even bother myself? went ahead to make arrangement for the introduction. Hm. The queen is trying my patience. She has offended me before and I forgive her. But this time I will never forgive her. Never. So, what are you trying to say? No, talk, talk to me, let me understand. <laughs> my God! <laughs> Mom, I, <do. laughs> I cannot believe 
that Lydia, with all her I too no attitude, could condescend so low to marry that thing. <laughs> Rebecca, that's a very harsh thing to say about your fellow human being. Will you shut up? Just close your mouth. Who are you calling a human being? That midget? That's not nice. That dangrugu? Do you know that you're even insulting God by calling that thing a human being? Oh, well, it was God that created him. Okay. Please, keep quiet. Keep quiet. My dear, what if your father, hmm? What if your father decides to give that dangrugu his throne? <laughs> Never. Mm. Mm -mm. It will never happen. Mm. There is no way, even at gunpoint, that my father would agree to that. Never. Your Majesty. Nene. Ma. What is it? There is a woman here to see you. She said her name is Adora. She's at the waiting room. Okay. I will meet her soon. Thank you, Your Majesty. But since I am busy. Thank you. you know it's not nice. I am busy. I have heard everything you said. But let me ask you. Why are you telling me all this? Did Henrietta send you? No, my queen. Queen Henrietta has proven that she cannot be trusted. I want to render my assistance to someone who is worthy of it. If I bring you in and you betray me, do to me as it pleases you. Okay. I will think about it and will send for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting. My daughter. All the guests are gone, leaving the two of us in this room. Uh, I want you to be very honest. What have you found in the reform that you have chosen? Love. Love? Yes, Dad. Meaning you love him? Yes, Dad. I love him so much. But he is deformed. It doesn't matter, Dad. Okine is such a lovely gentleman. He makes me happy. <sighs> he makes me laugh. He has prospects. I don't care about the container. I only care about the content. Hmm. So meaning you love him so much? Yes, Dad. I love him. If he is your heart desire, you will get my blessings. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. You Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, Mom, are you really sure about this woman? I am not sure about her, but I am sure of my instinct. What if she's Henrietta's mom? Have you thought of that? I don't think so. She's well with her life. Let us try her. Okay. If you say so. I called you here to tell you that I have perfected 
my plans to marry a bear. The marriage ceremony commences in a fortnight. I want you to make sure she is accepted by both of you. <clears throat> Igwe, I don't have any problem. I am not a troubleshooter. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? So I am the troubleshooter, right? Oh, are you? Hey, 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 stop it. I didn't invite you here to bandy words with one another. I did not. Igwe, please, I would like to ask you a question. What if she does not give you a son? Are you going to marry another wife? What sort of question is that? I am not answerable to you, of course. Uh, yes. Okay, there is no problem. Elieta, Elieta, come back here. It is a game of thrones. I said, come back the here. Queens and the I am not done, Elieta, come back. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means. What is giving him? He's wasting my time. My friend, please don't be offended. You will soon be here. Yeah. Oh, he's there. Mr. Patience, sir. I've been here for a very long time. Oh, here he comes. Ron, I, I, I greet you. The majestical, majestic queen. Ron Rodinenu, on top. <laughs> on top. <laughs> I greet you. <laughs> what has been keeping you? Oh, uh, 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 you know, say all these my customers, they know Sabi coordinate themselves. So I, I did to make sure say everything they run well, well before I come. But I still did sorry if sir, delay. <laughs> my queen, that is the young man I told you. Oh. What is your name, young man? My name now is Ozo Otenku. Otenku, the tapping, tapa, palm wine in Amuku. Best. One. One. <laughs> one. Ozo, one. <laughs> Best wine. Ozo. Also, I have an offer for you. Hey, oh. <laughs> uh, Roro, <laughs> you get offer for me, also. <laughs> also, hey, Roro, anything, anything and everything, also deliver. Bam. <laughs> everything? In this village, I, I, uh, 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 Amuku, Imogwe, also deliver. <laughs> Promise. Everything, anything, everything. <laughs> Take me out of here. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. Evil, pride, envy. <laughs> My friend. I won't make you drink, 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 my guy, shark. Take a miss, you don't do. You see, plenty still there from where this one come from. <laughs> I don't mind to bring another four gallon, more finish up. Mm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> drink, 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 my friend. <laughs> Puzzle. So you won't make a high face before you could tell me what you would celebrate here? My guy, <clears throat> I won't make your eye dirty. I won't make you drink because what I won't tell you now is heavy. Mm. <laughs> I won't make you high so that you could feel understand up. <laughs> ah. Okay, now when I don't high, so will you tell me? <laughs> tell me. You see, my guy, Queen approach me today. You know what you tell me? He said, make a marrying daughter. <laughs> <laughs> queen, say make a marry in daughter. Wait, also, wait, 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 wait. Which queen? Queen Margaret, of course. Igwe first wife. <laughs> is make a marry in daughter. Also, <laughs> but make a hear what? Now lie, I not believe you. I not believe you. Okay, you don't mm. believe me? Mm. Eh, you see, eh? <coughs> I swear to you. If what I tell you now, na lie. If what I tell you soon, na lie, eh? Made the source of where they tap this pan wine for make it dry. In fact, eh, when I climb tree to tap pan wine, make her fall. You don't need to serious for this matter. Of course, nah, a serious matter. Yeah. Wait, so you won't tell me say me and you won't begin married for the same house? Exactly. Bon uh queen. -huh. <laughs> also, also. <laughs> oh, get it, oh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, you know say now four princess they for that palace. Eh? I go marry one, you go marry one. Eh? The one go be your girlfriend, the other one go be my girlfriend. Hey! <laughs> oh, get it, oh, get it. Everything hey. balance. You know since one year, eh? mm. now you be like say your brain just talks on. Yes. <laughs> you see this matter? Matter don't settle in self. Everything don't balance. <laughs> Drink on my Leave friend. Leave matter for matter. <laughs> and Sabi for Sabi. No. Also, also. Every aboki with your own kettle and every malam with your own radio. That is it, my friend. <laughs> you know what? We don't take over the palace with that. Of course, too. now. I'm going to tell you. If Kia is not taking so we will even add the queen them to our girlfriend. Son, they worry you. <laughs> <laughs> you won't commit abomination. <laughs> that will not concern me. for you. Chink, me, fogo. Ekwe, ekwe, no, kwe, lugo. O, yisi, bia, cholo, mucha. O, kwe, funu, be, me, lugo. My guy, drink. Now we don't tell See, me the coconut. I won't make Give me more drink. Shark, my guy. Hey. You see this one, I celebrate. Celebration on of. Yes, what is it? I'm sorry, my princess. I just want to tell you that my father and my mother are from Amoku. My great grandfather, my great, 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 great grandfather are all from here. That's four generations. Can you call to the cheese and tell me why you are wasting my time, fool? So, my princess, I just want to let you know that I'm available for marriage. Pathetic fool! How dare you call me out here to tell me this badadash? Do I look like your playmate? I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my princess. It's the devil. Please forgive me, please forgive me. And you will report to him in hell. The next time you think of telling me this rubbish, too! Fool like you. What? Oh my god! Human beings are so unpredictable. Look at the riffraff I picked up from the gutters to better her life, connecting with Margaret against me. She's selling me out to her. Uh, Mom, are you sure it's not because you refused to pay her? Who said I refused to pay her? As a matter of fact, I went to her house to pay her when I saw both of them. I wonder what their plan is. <laughs> Whatever their plan may be, I will frustrate to all them. I will. What is 
wrong with your sister? I don't know. Maybe her usual banji. Stop that. Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you too. Is my father in? Yes, my princess. Okay, I'm gonna see him. I'm sorry you can't, my princess. And why is that? He gave order not to be disturbed. I'm sorry, my princess. But I usually come talking to sleep every night. That's I know, my princess. But he gave instructions not to be disturbed by anyone. That palm wine tapa will make us succeed and get us through. It's okay. I will swallow my pride and marry him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. Mm. You have just made mommy proud. <laughs> my sweet. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. We are going to upgrade him, bring him to standard. You got a gun. Such a sianya. What a sianya. Not like that um, imbecile. Hemeta uh, got for her daughter. Hmm? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Ha! Huh? I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. You just made my day. <laughs> Amali Cham. Oh. <laughs> Amali Cham. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Mom, what is going on? What are we celebrating? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And you both are this happy. You heard her. She says nothing. Okay. Thank you. Mazapin, you want to know everything. Madam know all. What is it? Thank you so much. You just made my day. Thank you. That's my daughter. <laughs> Rebecca, what is the problem? You, you've you been sitting down quiet without even saying a word to me. What is it? That's because I don't even know where to start from. The beginning will be fine. Start from the top. Charles, I feel I owe you an apology first. Please forgive me, please. Forgive you for, for what? For what I'm about to say. Are you indirectly saying you don't love me anymore? No, 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 Charles, no. That is not it. I love you. 
I love you very much and that is the problem. You can tell me. How is that a problem? How? It has blinded me a lot. I don't even see my family anymore and I am always having problems with my mom. Rebecca, you're not making any point. You're not making sense. Tell me exactly the way it is, okay? Just say it. I... I, I think we should take a break. At least to think things through. Really? Yes. Are you stylishly dumping me? No. Is that what you're doing? No, 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 no. That is not it. I, I mean, I, that's not the. Then what is the point? What is the point, Rebecca? Because it seems you obviously thought about this whole thing before coming here. Charles, please calm down. Bring your voice down, I beg you. Charles, I, 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 I love you. I, I really do. I love you. Pass the door. Get out. Are you asking me to leave your house? Make a go to your mother! Let her produce the man that will love and protect you. Get out of my house. Charles, please. Let us talk. Please. Let get us out. talk. Ibeka, get out. Don't make me force you because it will never be romantic. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. Evil, pride, envy are their weapons of war. The end justifies the means. Oh. Justifies the means. What are you doing here? Who are you looking for? I'm sorry to disturb you, my queen. I just came into the palace. I decided to come and greet you, my queen. Greet me? As what? Your friend? Your mother? Playmates or what? Listen and listen good. The next time you bring your filthy feet into this wing of the palace, you will not like what I'll do to you. You will see my true color. Get out. Sorry, Your Majesty. What did you go there to do? My king. there to greet her. That's all. And she heard insults at me. You must learn to use a long spoon while eating with the devil. You know she hates you. And by the way, you have no obligation to greet her. You are not her maid. It's okay, my dear. Don't mind her. Hmm? She's just envious of you. 
You are going to be the next queen of this kingdom. Obviously, she can't deal with that. It's okay, oh? Thank you, Your Majesty. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> From here, I'll take you to a boutique. Mm? I need to get Alvin clothes for you. You know, clothes that will be fit the kind of status you'll be portraying from now on. Okay? <laughs> then, I will give you some money. From there, you pay my bride price. Okay? That settles it. Princess Lulu. Princess Lubeka of the Majestic Loyal Majestica. <laughs> so, you mean say you go give me money? Another money after the one where you don't first give me? Make I buff up like this? Can you tone down your voice? Princess Lubeka. You, you wonderful. Don't worry, eh? I go show you love. I go show you love from the Genesis. On top, on top. <laughs> This food sweet, though. What's going on here? I don't understand. Rick, I won't ask you again. What is going on here? I need you to explain some things to me. Things like what? Who is this? This... This thing. His name is Ozo, my husband-to-be. What? Rebecca, did I hear you well? So, so you want to leave me for this, this thing? This lunatic, this imbecile? Hey, hey. Oh Rebecca, I thought you had class. Oh boy, so now me, you they call this thing. Are you kidding me? Now me, you don't open this your mouth, they call this thing. Me, also. Are you for real? You're dumping me for, for an illiterate. A bushman. Oh, come on, Rebecca. I expected more from you. What is your problem? How is it your business? Hey, hey, hey. Don't follow me. What are you going to do? Now me, they call bushmeats. Me? Yeah, what are you going to do? Also, no, 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 no. what are you going to do? A primate? You're a bushman. You call me bushman. What are you going to do? Me? Also, now you're a bushman. Bushman. I will design your face. You are a bushman, and I'll call you that again and again and again. Hey, boy. Hey, Charles, baby. Please, just... Baby, calm down. Just eh? Just calm down. Hey, 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 I'm here to push my head. I'm here to push my head. I'm here to push my head. I'm here to push my is a strong man. Huh? Very strong man. In fact, I never knew he was that strong. <laughs> you should have seen what he did to Charles today. Eh? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Mommy. So, what, what really happened? We were there, mm -hmm. eating, gisting, and generally having fun. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Mr. Tush bashed into the place and started insulting Ozo. Huh? Before I could say Jack, <laughs> Ozo carried him off like a baby and dashed him on the ground like a pack of cards. Ha! <laughs> it, was not a, it was not a good sight. <laughs> it was not a good sight. You His don't mean it. go inflated just like that. <laughs> what is this? Food is ready. Okay. Well, she's coming. She's I'll coming. soon be there. I'm coming. <laughs> eh? Tell me something. He met his match. No, 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 no. He met more than his match. Tell me more something. More than he bargained for. <laughs> I am very sure next time he won't even try it again. Daga! <laughs> Your Highness, I greet you. Um, my 
my nephew here has been giving me sleepless nights. Yes, yes, yes. Telling me that uh, he has found uh, a precious jewel in your palace. Yes. And that uh, he cannot come here to take the precious jewel alone. And that is why um, we have yes. come here, Your yes. Highness. And uh, we came with these uh, drinks. <laughs> <laughs> You may have this yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Young man. Igwe. What is your name? Um, <coughs> Igwe. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Oso. Yes. Yes. Oh, my, my name is Ozo. <laughs> yeah. Are you not Otenko? Ah. Uh, um, Igwe. Um, um, Otenko na old school name, na, na my nickname before. Now, Ozo, I don't change. Yeah, oh, yes, Ozo, <laughs> Ozo. Ozo. Yeah, Ozo. <laughs> now I, I, I go, I come back, I do business, people respond, I make money. <laughs> I make plenty money. <laughs> good business, man. Yeah, good business. <laughs> I'm a JJ Nabata, but I, yes. <laughs> I'm an international businessman now. Yeah. <laughs> to mock me. I don't understand. Daddy, what did I do? The other day, Lydia came in with a, a, a deformed man. And this time, you have come with a Pamwai Tapa. Huh? What is actually going on in this palace? Is there anything I have not been told? Nothing is going on, Daddy, other than the fact that my love is coming to pay my bride price. Love? Did I hear you say love? What about the young man you brought the other day? Charles? <laughs> Daddy, please. He's history. Why? Daddy, we are incompatible. And he is an overbearing freak whose only intention is to ride over me. So, I had to call it quits. It is a game of thrones Between the queens and the princesses The end justifies the means They want to get what they want By any means necessary The end justifies the means Evil, pride, envy are there weapons of war? The end justifies the means. She first said, I am ashamed of my daughters. Why must they condescend so low to think about marrying those imps in the name of claiming right to the throne? Why? Your Majesty, what are you going to do now? Because uh, they don't seem to be backing down at all. They don't. I am going to leave them to continue fooling themselves. When it is right, the truth will be unfolded. That's exactly what I will do. Your Majesty, uh, but no matter what they do, don't take it hard on yourself. Remember what the doctor said about your health status. Please, do remember. I remember. 
Thank you very much, Chief Nelson. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Mm. Is fast spent. I will leave as soon as we don't eat. Mm. Yes. But I thought you were going to sleep over. I asked my maid to prepare a bed for you. I thought I could, but I didn't discuss it with my mother. She may be furious. I understand. Anyway, my driver will take you home. I hope you are enjoying this meal. Yes, I am. That's good. There is trouble, my king. Trouble? Yes, what king. trouble? I got word from the hospital that the bearer is an intensive care unit. What happened to Ebere? The doctor said she was poisoned, my king. Ebere poisoned? Yes, my Who king. Who poisoned her? I wouldn't know, my king. Quickly go and get the car ready. I must see her. My king. I advise you to see her tomorrow. It's already late. Celestine, the Berry is my wife to be. Go and get the car ready. I must see her. Yes, Quick. my king. Majesty. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, your loyal, majestic, majesty. <laughs> uh, You're welcome, sir. Uh, your majesty, we have been waiting for the king to come out. For what seemed like donkey years. There is no sign of him. What is really happening? Is he really around? Yes, he's around. Just to be patient, sir. Eh? Let me call him. Oh, all right, all right. I'm coming. You're welcome. Thank you. Princess Lubeka. Beautiful. <laughs> very, very beautiful, Princess Lubeka. I'm waiting <laughs> to see her. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. Your Majesty. I want to have a word with the king. The king is indisposed at the moment. Some people are here to see him. I'm sorry, my queen. But the king is not ready to see anyone. Get out of the way! 
With all due respect, my queen, I won't step aside. Why? Because he asked me not to let anyone in. If those in-laws of mine walk away without seeing the king, hmm, I am going to deal with you. I'm sorry, Mama. Silly! Evil, pride, envy are their weapons of war. The end justifies the means. Oh. Justifies the means. Oh, 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 the end justifies the means. The end justifies the means They want to get what they want By any means necessary The end justifies the means Evil, pride, envy Are their weapons of war The end justifies the means How can daddy do this to me? How? What did I do to deserve this kind of humiliation? What? How can he do this to me? Hmm. Hmm. I have the feelings that Henrietta is behind all this. But I swear, her daughter can never get married. Her daughter can never get married to that imbecile. As long as mine remains unmarried. Never! But mom. Mom, it would be very unfair of you to be apportioning blames right now. What if God is involved in this? What if God doesn't want sis to get married to that man? What will God say? If I put you in your oh. face! Silly! Must you talk in everything discussed in this palace? Don't you ever, ever talk again if you don't have a reasonable thing to say. My daughter, it's okay. It's okay. This is not me again. Don't worry yourself. I must get to the root of this. Trust me. Okay? It's okay. Poison in this palace? You two have some explanation to make. I swear, Your Majesty, we didn't know how it happened. Yes, Your Majesty. We both prepared the food and we tested it. Stop lying. Both of you have just compromised your jobs. That means my children and I are not safe in this palace anymore. Both of you will surely go in for it. Your Majesty, 
We are innocent. We didn't do anything. Yes. Will you shut up? Shut up. Greetings, Your Majesty. What? The king summons you. I've heard. It is not possible. It is not possible. I ate with her. And besides, she has been cooking for us. I know, Your Highness. I know. But I just don't want us to rule out that possibility. They are not responsible. They are not. Someone used the photo to kill her. Someone who does not want to see us together. Yes. You have succeeded, right? Hmm? Excuse me, Your Highness. Succeeded? How do you mean? Don't pretend you do not know what we are talking about. I know it. I know you do not like her. I know you do not want her in this palace. Your Highness, are you by any chance accusing me of killing a baron? Don't worry. Don't worry! I must get to the root of this matter. I must find out he or she who killed him that before then. I don't want any one of you to talk anything about marital life in this palace. Do I make myself clear? The heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. But what's in the show? You all are aware of the current situation in the palace. Am I right? Yes, Your Majesty. I know you all like to gossip. You like to talk. This matter is a serious and sensitive one. I don't want gossips or whispers. I don't want to hear he said, she said, they said, else you will be penalized. Have I made myself clear? beautiful wives and daughters, I call you here to inform you that I will be embarking on a trip to clear my head. Um, Celestine and Chisora shall go with me. Do you know who of this kingdom? shall take over the administrative affairs. Margaret shall be in charge of domestic affairs. <laughs> I've been able to reach Mr. Jonathan on how you are going to get your finances as at when due. I don't want to come back to meet this palace in shambles. You all must respect delegated authorities. Because a lot of havoc has greeted this kingdom 
in recent times. And I don't want it to continue. Is there any question? Dad. Yes. Can I come with you? No, my dear daughter. Yes. Maybe some other time. Mm. Is that okay by you? That's all right. Mm -mm. Dad. Mm -hmm. Ugine and his people are supposed to come and pay my bride price. Let them wait until I am back. If that is all, you are all dismissed. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. Evil. Uh, please, I would like to see the king his own seat. Do I look like the king's keeper to you? It's your menka. I overheard you asking to see the king. Yes, sir, uh, but your cool wife response was something else. Is she alright? I wouldn't know. You know everyone has his or her own problem. Well, the king traveled out of the country. I hope everything is alright because I was not informed. It was a last minute call. Everything is fine. I hope there is no problem. Um, not at all. Not at okay. all. Come in.
Oh, Mayberry, I heard what happened. I'm sorry that I've not come to see you. Please take heart. May the Lord accept that fault. Mm -hmm. She was my very good friend back there in school. I don't know why. Good day, Mama. Good day, my daughter. Oh. Oh. Mommy, very. I will be on my way. See you some other time, okay? Thank you. Take heart. How are you doing, Mama? I am fine, my daughter. Mama, I am really sorry for your loss. Ibiri was such a good woman. She doesn't deserve the way she died. I am sorry. What did I do? Onika Mejo. Onika Mejo. Mama, you did nothing wrong. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Not because you did anything wrong. But why? Why should bad things happen to good people? And good things happen to bad people. Why? Why? Mama, I do not have answers to your questions. Only God knows why this had to happen. But I assure you that you won't allow the killers of your daughter to go unpunished. They won't walk out of this. Mama, please take heart. Lean on God. And He will wipe away your tears and console you. Please. I'm sorry. Please take heart. Take heart. God will console you. Thank you. Uh, where is Senator? Oh, she's inside. Yes. Why? Why is she not here to welcome you? Uh, huh? Uh, anyway, that is not a problem. Tell me you're welcome. Uh, uh, come, come on, let's go in. Dad, yes, sir. I've come to tell you that Ogene and his people are ready to come and complete the marital rites. I am not ready for them. But Dad, you said you will receive them as soon as you return. And I said I am not ready for now. When the time comes, I will let you know. Say, you just a galliban, they were kind of pastor, you know, see me. What do I want to take your face, do? Your face, they bring money. 
Eh? Come, the blessing say your village people, they don't they follow you. Wait, wait, Bogeni. Okay. You know not say as you see me, you suppose greet me. Me greet you. You suppose as greet me also. You suppose say wait, good. wait, 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 wait. I suppose greet you. As in unto waiting now. Eh? No, since when I want to start, I won't, I won't oh, understand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, make I educate you because obviously say, you know get sense. As it be so now, where I won't marry Princess Lubeka. I don't turn the future king of this palace. You see everything waiting for here now, go soon become my own. So if you get sense by now, you suppose don't they submit so that I will bring you on to the next level. If you see me, you suppose greet. <laughs> see you see, future king. Hey! My friend, get away from here. Come, 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 come. I say come here. So Nami you talk to like this now. Eh? Nami, Nami you talk to like this now. Eh? I will mend you as you feel like yesterday, Mr. Maso. If it's your boyfriend, this is your deformed boyfriend that is sick. The next time your filthy hand touches my husband, I will deal with you. And if I do, what will you do? What will you do? to fight my man, asking him to bow down to him. As what? As the next king. <laughs> Butterfly calling itself a bird. <laughs> Mom, don't dismiss it. I heard that dad is grooming that idiot to take over from him. No. The Igwe cannot try it. No, it's not possible. Mom. Lydia is right. They hired a teacher who comes here to teach him every day. Are you sure about this? I'm sure, Mom. That is what gave that animal the boldness to embarrass my man. Could that be the reason your father does not want to gain his people? to come and pay your bride price? I can hardly doubt that. Oh, my God. 
I greet you all. You are welcome. I greet you too. Words cannot explain how deeply sorry I am over your loss. The incidents leading to the death of your king is deeply regrettable. But I assure you that throughout the investigation, I will not bat an eye until all the perpetrators of this heinous crime and their accomplices are brought to face the full wrath of the law. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my DPO. Thank you. I want to assure you that we are ready to cooperate with you and your men to ensuring that all those involved in this despicable act mm. are brought to book. Yes. Leave no stone unturned. We are with you. Mm. You have spoken well, Chief. We will do our best and keep you up to speed with respect to the investigations. Thank you very much. You are one in a million. I think I should take my leave now. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. Evil. Pride. I understand what you are saying, Your Majesty. But the power to make him king is with the castle of Evers. But the big question here is, how can we make an illiterate a king? Are you questioning his eligibility, Ichie? 
you and other elders on my payroll owe it to me to push forward my interest in this kingdom and not to, 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 to question my resolve. Um, I am sorry, my queen. We will do our best. I am counting on you. Uh, like I said, my queen, we will do our best. Have a good day. I am aware <clears throat> that the College of Elders will be meeting tomorrow to decide if Ozo will be made the king of Amuku Kingdom. Your duty is to make sure it ends in a gridlock. This is a check of um, 3 million naira. Use it to get other elders on your side. Your Majesty, our people do say, throw away the bone for the dog and watch his spirit with the spirit. We will not disappoint you. We will deliver. Now what? We can never disappoint you. Yes. Your Majesty. I'm counting on you. Are you sure you don't want to take anything, Your Majesty? Thank you. I just came to see how the company is faring. I also came to find out if you still remember how you came into my family and how you rose to the position of the Managing Director of Aco Global Enterprise. Not at all, Your Majesty. Good. Meaning that your loyalty is not in doubt. Yes, Your Majesty. I hope it remains that way. For your sake, Mr. Jonathan. Because there is a thin line between riches and poverty. You have been on both sides. So you would have to choose which one makes you feel more comfortable. Because the little compromise will get you crashing back to poverty. Is that understood? Yes, my queen. Good. Hey! Chief Omeko, what are you saying? How do you expect us to make and liberate our king? How? Abomination, Aru. Hey! Chief Omeko, where have you ever heard? That a blind person leads people with sight. Where? Oh, Kalfo, if you don't know what to say, you sit down. Yes. Sit down. Which law are you quoting? Where is it written that our king must be schooled? Even with academic exploits you have, you have not been able to lead your family. I'm not insulting. I am not insulting you. I am stating the obvious. What obvious are you stating, Omega? What obvious? Listen, let me tell you. I will never indulge a pound wine tavern. A judge to lead me as a king. Listen, my stand is very clear on this. I will never indulge an illiterate to lead me as a king. Ah, moreover, he is not even legally married to the princess. That is true. So, 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 why are we deliberating on this? That is not true, Okafor. The king approved it. And they got married secretly. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Omeka, are you hearing yourself? That the princess of this kingdom got married secretly. Where have it ever been heard before? Where? Who, 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 what do you know? What do you know in this kingdom? Omeka, you fight! What do you know? You fight, Omeka! Wait, you fight, Omeka! You fight, Omeka! It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, no, we tell him to keep quiet. If I'm talking, you are talking. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm oh no, talk to me. He said you should sit down. Sit down. Oh no, he said you should sit down. Sit down, Omega. I don't want to hear any other thing. Ah, sit down. Elders of her land, there is really no reason for this bickering. We shouldn't be talking about who will replace our king at this point in time. We need to find the person that killed our king and make sure we guard against the future occurrence of this kind of incident. <clears throat> As it is, I want both of you to desist from talking about this matter again. 
Nobody should talk about it. This is an order. The heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. But what's in the show? Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. The law of gravity settles it. What goes up must come down. Did you ask Mr. Jonathan to release five million naira to you? Yes, I did. What for? Do I have to explain that to you? <laughs> Listen, I am the queen mother of Ambu Kingdom. You don't have any right to go to the company and make demands without my permission. Margaret, you are a queen and I am one as well. I do not need your permission to take my husband's money. I have as much right as you do to our husband's wealth. Do not try that again. Or I will shut you out and make sure that you pay for food in this palace. Go and sit down. Mm. Okay. We see to that. It is a game of thrones between the queens and the princesses. The end justifies the means. They want to get what they want by any means necessary. I am disappointed at both of you. Eh? The king's body is still at the mortuary. And the both of you are here. Fighting over his wealth. Oh no. Yes. Talk to her. Talk to this woman. She is the sensitive one. You are very stupid. You are very stupid. You are stupid. You are stupid. You are stupid. Don't make me get so stupid. Are you mad? Stop! Okay. Uh -uh. Haven't you discredited his memory enough? Okay. Eh? Both of you grieved him alive. Do you also want to grieve him in death? No, tell me. But I will not let that happen. Both of you cannot destroy what took my king so many years of she had work to build. No way. I have called a lawyer to come and tell us the king's position. Yes. And yes. What is this? I, Dr. Unamdi Akubilo, state hearing that the information contained in this booklet was written by my humble self. I have already divided my wealth among my children. And it is in the Bible I gave to each and every one of them. Only those with the Bible have access to my wealth. And those who do not have the Bible are not accessible to my wealth. My daughters, I am very proud of you all. Thank you, Dad. You came out top in your various academic disciplines. Simultaneously, you were invited to the one year uh, compulsory service, NYSC. And here you are, back home, here and hurting. So proud. In fact, you have made your father proud. Thank you, Dad. My children, I, I do not have anything to offer you to show how elated I am. But I have these uh, few things for you. <laughs> uh, aha. The Bibles. I don't read the Bibles. 
I have never read. But I know the Bible has all the truth. You have it. Read it. And I promise you will find all that you need in life. Come on, have it. Uh, 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 Daddy, is this a joke? What is this? Oh. Bible. What am I doing with the Bible? <laughs> uh, Daddy, you promised me a brand new car. I was expecting that, not this, Dad. You promised an all expense pay trip to Disneyland. What happened to that promise? No, Dad. There is no way I'm touching a book filled with contradictory letters and episodes. No! Thank you. I expected something better and not this. Excuse me. Are you not with them? Actually, Dad, I need them. Thank you very much. I'll make good use of them. Thank you, my daughter. Wait, wait, wait. You mean Daddy wrote and hid everything in the Bible? Yes. Where is the Bible? So we know what's in for us. I don't know. I was hoping you would tell me. Actually, I do. In fact, I am in possession of the whole Bibles. <laughs> How? Uh, anyway, that is irrelevant. Just go in there. Bring out the Bibles and give me mine. Hmm? Please, I want my own Bible too. Exactly. Just go get the Bible. There are different versions of the Bible. So how would you know the one allotted to you? You and you. When you all rejected the Bibles. She's right. According to the king, only those who have the Bible have access to my wealth. And those who rejected the Bible, their survival is dependent upon the one who has the Bible. And what's your point exactly? We are family. And I am your elder sister. You should do what I say and give me my share. Give me what belongs to me. And what is it? Are you mad? Why are you asking me as if you don't know what I'm talking about? Give me my share since you want me to say it like this. Give me my share. Give it to me because I don't want to get angry. Give me what belongs to me. And if I refuse... Oh, geez. You should do what I say. Give me my share. Now! Really? Wait, wait. Are you working out? Are you actually working out? It is a game of thrones. Between the queens and the princesses, the end just... Thank you all for coming out. It is really disheartening to see what this family has been reduced to. The bickering, the altercation, all for money. The Bible tells me, in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, that the love of money is the root of all evil. 
which many have coveted after. They have heard from the faith and pierced themselves through with so many sorrows. Mind you, God did not create money. Man created money to place tangible value on objects. And this love of money has dealt with humanity and our family in particular a great blow. I have watched you all try so hard to outsmart the other, chasing after shadows. What about the persistent nagging, the vilification, and use of vile words? What about those shame marriages you both tried to skim your way into, only to deceive dad and make him hand over the kingdom to you? Everything you all have been fighting for, everything you all have been killing yourselves over for, everything you all have been struggling to have was laid at my feet with no stress, without lobbying for them. What an irony. I can as well throw all of you out of this palace to go continue your fight out there. But no, I won't do that. You know why? Because I am a child of God. I know the word of God. And you all are my family. I called you all here yeah, because I have made up my mind to share Father's wealth with you equally. But there is a condition to it. Hey, my daughter, please, whatever you want, eh? Just say it, we will do it. Are you sure? Anything you will just mention it, we will do it. Well, the condition is found in the Bible. In the book of James, chapter 1. Verse 21. And it says, Lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of wickedness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word of God, which is able to save your souls. Turn from your evil ways, embrace Christ, and live in peace amongst yourselves. Only then, Will I share Father's wealth with you all? Only then. My daughter, I am ready to make peace. Sir. Me too. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are ready for peace. Yes. I'm ready. Sorry. 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 Ah, yes, my dear. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, you won't believe it. Uh -huh. Are you doubting me? <laughs> ah! 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 Please, 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 ah! please, ah! please, ah!
is that? This is the final time. Which of you knocked violently on my door last night? Your Majesty, I didn't knock on your door. Your Majesty, I didn't even knock on your door last night. Your Majesty, I didn't even come to your door last night. Mom, are you sure about this? Because I didn't hear anything. How would you have known? When you sleep like a log, leave my presence. But mom, I was awake almost through the night. It must have been a nightmare. The heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. But what's in the show? Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. The law of gravity settles it. What goes up must come down. It may take time, it may last long, but one thing is sure: what will be, will be. Uronya kuru koga waro. Mom, are you okay? I've been meaning to ask you the same thing. Because you look awful. And I heard you screaming last night. I thought I was the only one that heard her scream last night. I am fine. No, you're not. You barely touched your food. I said, I am fine. Nothing is wrong with me. But mommy, you don't look fine. I'm fine. Full of wickedness beyond what you can see. 
But what's in the show? Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. The law of gravity settles. What's the problem? He's inside. There's no one here, Your Majesty. You did not see him. There's nobody. Please enter, let us go. of yourself and tell us what the matter oh. is. Please, Pico, what is it? Mom, what's going on? Talk to me. I'm fine. She's definitely not all right. The heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. Mommy, please talk to me. Is there a problem? Please, I need to know because everybody thinks you're mad. Everybody? Is everybody? Uh, mommy, please stop. We're all worried about you. <laughs> I'm okay now. I'm fine. I was only having a bad day. But I'm fine. You have nothing to worry about. Good. Are you sure? I hope you're seeing the truth. Yes, honestly, mm -hmm. mommy, for our sakes, please let it just be that you're fine because you're beginning to scare us. Okay. your help. What is it, Emma? It's my mother. I, I think she needs some spiritual help. Spiritual help? Yes. How do you mean? She's been acting weird like someone under an influence. She's been tormented. Yes. How did you know? My mom is acting the same way too. Are you serious? Oh my god. What is going on? I think they've gotten themselves into real trouble. Uh. Please, what do we do? I need, I need to help my mother. I need to help my mother. What do we do? Thank you, Jesus. 
Bando Shaprado Siena Talaba. Sweet influence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your word. How forceful a right word? In the beginning, it was not so. Every siege must be broken. Lord, you said in your word, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have whatsoever you say. In Tolambo Shatalambra, the Agusada Talaba. Lord, I summon every evil perpetuated in that royal household now. That siege be broken. I come not of my own words, but in the name of the Lord of hosts. And every power working in that royal household, today I bring you to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, you satanic siege manipulating that home. As the Lord living, I command you to bow. The Bible said, Thou shalt decree a thing, it shall be established. Numbers 14, verse 28. And Lord, your word also speaking in the book of Luke 21 and verse 13. It shall turn for me for a testimony. Prove, Lord, that you call me. Prove, Lord, that I am your servant. You said your word, you confirm the counsel of your messenger. Where is your father? Iche is not around. Where has he gone? He traveled yesterday. How can a love travel without telling me? His VP rose yesterday, so my elder brother had to come from the city to take him for treatments. Oh no, this is VP. Greetings, my elder. How are you? I'm fine, my elder. Please, don't know what around. He said he's not around. Anyway, I brought good news. What good news this time? She's been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. He don't mean it. <laughs> he don't mean it. Yes, my Hey! I hope she's okay. Of course. Hey! Both mother and baby are fine. Wonderful. Hey! are you talking about? We have done no evil. Apart from the problem my co-wife and I had in the past. Besides, we have settled our differences. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We are okay now. Pastor, um, check if you made a mistake. Are you saying that the Holy Spirit lied? Don't yeah. blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's a big Mona Holy Spirit. No, what, what I'm saying is that probably you were not concentrating when the Holy Spirit was talking to you. 
he might say one thing and you heard another. Just like in the days of um, Samuel and his master Eli. Um, Pastor, if um, that is all, I think we have no problem here. Hmm? There is no problem in the palace. Excuse me. Excuse us. Must come down. It may take time, it may last long, but one thing is sure what will be, will be. Muronya Kuru Kogaro. What's going on? What is done? They're under arrest for the murder of the king and Miss Ebere. What? The murder of the king and Miss Ebere? Your Majesties, is this true? You know, I get the good news and the bad news go side by side. What do you mean by that? I mean the gods are giving us an heir apparent to the throne of your father. Yes. Who? Yes. You're wrong, my princess. You remember the night I told you the king doesn't want to be disturbed? The king was heartbroken because of what is going on in the royal family. Chizaba was the only one who consoled me. So, Celestine, you knew about this and you kept quiet? Yes, my princess. But I was forbidden to talk about it by the king. I couldn't stand to see the king turn apart because of what was happening in the palace. I was the only one there to console him. One thing led to the other. I, I took in. When I told the king that I was pregnant, he took the elders to go and see my people.
king. You've grown so cold and soft. I'm devastated. My king, you can't be devastated. The lion of Amoko kingdom cannot be devastated. A lot of us are looking up to you for strength. If you're like this, what are we going to do? Please, my king, put yourself up and be the king that you are, please. It's high time you told her. Tell her what? She's over. You can't continue like this. I don't know what you're talking about, Celeste. I mean, I'm fine. You're not fine, she's over. I'm no longer a baby. I know you're pregnant. Pregnant? I don't know what you're talking about. Come, you need to do the natural. If not, I'll do it for you. Please don't tell me, okay? Stop looking at me like that. It is his right to know. You have to tell him. No. Okay, fine. Hold on, okay? Please don't tell him no more. Just let him know. You... You mean you are pregnant? Yes, my king. Are you angry with me? Why would I be angry? Angry for what? That you are pregnant? That you have a child for me? I would be the biggest fool to be angry for having a child. I thank you so much for giving me joy again.
but my king, yes. I'm not sure I want to have this baby. How do you mean? We all know the trouble that awaits me. They are going to bring down my neck. I don't want them to kill me and kill my unborn child. No. I don't want to have this baby. No. Listen, my dear. They won't know about it. Hmm? How? No. Don't worry. The heart of man is full of wickedness Beyond what you can see But what's in is sure Destiny can be delayed But it can never be denied The law of gravity settles it What goes up must come down It may take time It may last long But one thing is sure What will be, will be Kuronya kuruko gawaro took me outside Amoko Kingdom. He made sure I was comfortable until I gave birth to, to my son, the, the prince.
wife, my wife, hey, hey, hey. beauty in the eye of the moon. <laughs> I am behold your beauty. <laughs> you know, there, there's plenty vegetable in the bush, but somebody go and pluck Okazi. You, Okazi baby. <laughs> hey, wife, where, where are you going to? Who is your wife? Princess. Are you mad or you're drunk? I am not your wife. Don't ever insult me again by calling me your wife. Get out of here. Princess, it's, it's also... By the time I come back here, I don't want to see you. Okay? Baby, 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 we, we, cannot, we, can, we can talk. Yes? I am losing it. Wait. And I am going to slap you and nothing will happen. Get out of my sight. This is also your husband. <laughs> You won't marry with this your with, with, with this like see. Okay, my son. Right, if, if you're not stay come here and go. Because me, I will stay here. You will stay yeah. here? Yes. We die here together. Now let you go die. We die. Go.
heart of man is full of wickedness beyond what you can see. But what's in the show? Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. The law of gravity settles it. What goes up must come down. It may take time, it may last long, but one thing is sure: what will be, will be. Go, 